Apple has long dominated the technology and smartphone market. It is truly a giant of the game and is constantly taking steps in order to further revolutionize and change the way our world looks and works. And in 2021, the company is coming up with another incredible product that's been shrouded in mystery and hype since the day it was announced. In this video, we're going to tell you about how Apple has a new product coming. Before we continue, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for notifications. Let's begin. Apple has always been at the cutting edge of technological advancements. And with the long-rumored Apple glasses seemingly near development, the world is excited. There have been countless rumors and reports of Apple finally developing its own version of augmented reality glasses. It is alleged that Apple is looking to launch the eyewear in order to compete with Microsoft's HoloLens and Magic Leap. It is envisioned that this could be a new era for the smartphone, as these AR glasses could potentially replace the smartphone as consumer's primary and only computing device. Although the goals and aims may be high, unfortunately it seems like a long way to go before this might become a reality. Tim Cook, Apple CEO, is known for always promoting the promise of AR technology. It basically overlays digital graphics onto the real world. Tim has been championing the cause for AR since way back in 2016, claiming that it will become just as common as eating three meals per day. It has been four years now and there are still loads of rumors and leaks that show that Apple is trying to get into the AR scope. The device is reportedly going to be called Apple Glass. There has already been some failure faced by other companies trying to crack the AR puzzle. The most public of such failures was the AR Glasses idea of Google way back in 2014. It has been nine years now though, and with that time and technological advancements, Apple might just stand a proper fighting chance of bringing the eyewear to mainstream consumers for the first time. We encourage users to think of Apple Glass as a companion set to their iPhones. Smartphones are already considered a second screen in most scenarios, so the eyeglasses might be considered your third screen. It will help in bringing information directly from your phone to your eyes. According to a report by Bloomberg, the lenses will have a sort of holographic display. These lenses will allow the user to see anything from their text to emails to maps or even games in their field of vision. There are further reports abound from multiple sources which suggest that Apple is considering that the Apple Glass might have its own dedicated store. A fully separate app store for the headset as well as a special operating system called the Glass OS is in the works as well. This links nicely with the Apple Watch and Watch OS, as well as Apple TV and TV OS. Then, there are two different Apple patents from June of 2020 which would suggest that the company is working on an optical vision self-correction system. This would mean that the smart glasses will eliminate the need for prescription lenses and contacts. So not only would they work as traditional glasses, but also be the smartest glasses one could wish for. The system will automatically address everything for astigmatism and farsightedness as well as nearsightedness. There is also another patent doing the rounds which explains exactly how the Apple Glass user interface will work. It describes a system where the user can touch an option in the virtual world. Infrared heat sensors will be able to detect when and where the user has touched a real-life object. It could allow the glasses to project controls onto those items. Just picture yourself then, looking at your TV for example. You see a virtual menu of options pop up over the top of it. This would allow you to change the input, channel, turn up the volume, or turn the whole thing on or off, all of this done just through your glasses. Specs Okay, to cut to the chase and not waste too much time, the short version of it is that nobody knows the exact specs of the Apple Glass yet. But the speculation and leaks floating around the internet does allow us to have a vague idea. Tom's Guide, for example, has speculated that the field of view of the Apple Glass will at least be par to HoloLens 2. Microsoft's HoloLens 2 is the state-of-the-art in smart glasses so far. The Apple Glass will have at least 52 degrees of vision as well as 47 pixels per inch resolution. If Apple Glass plans to further pursue AR rather than just playing around with 2D notifications on the lens, they will require connectivity to smartphones as well. If this is done, then the smartphone will do all the actual video processing while the onboard computing of the glass will be kept to a minimum. This is similar to how the early versions of Apple Watch used to work. 
the phone could send back the 3D imagery to the lens at a very high frame rate per second. Bluetooth would not make sense in that situation because these bandwidths would be simply way too high. Battery life is also speculated to be at least a minimum of three hours, especially if Apple wishes to seriously compete with Microsoft's HoloLens 2 or even the Magic Leap 1. Looks The Apple Glass will have materials that will give off a serious Clark Kent vibe. The prototypes, however, do look like a basic and unintimidating pair of plastic glasses. There is reportedly a LiDAR scanner on the right side, which will most likely help to scan the surrounding environment to help overlay 3D images in a realistic manner. Apparently, there are no plans in releasing the first version of Apple Glass with any sort of tinted shades. So if you do own transition or prescription sunglasses, then you will certainly have to wait a little longer. Cost and Release Date Ming-Chi Kuo, a very popular leaker of all kinds of information about Apple, has recently tweeted that he does not believe that the Apple Glass will be available this year. This has deflated lots of people and now we might get the glasses sometime during 2022. Others have reason to believe that the product might be arriving in 2021 and not 2022. They say that Apple might announce the product before actually starting to ship them out in a similar way to the Apple Watch. There is also a third possibility, however, which is based on a leaked presentation shown inside Apple offices. The presentation actually stated a launch date of 2023. So no one really knows when the glasses might be rolled out, but don't keep your hopes up for anything earlier than 2022. It is rumored that the glasses will be launched at a base price of $500. The price of any additional prescription that the optical system has to account for may increase the overall price, though. This is still much cheaper than the Microsoft HoloLens 2, which cost an astounding $3,500. The low price probably has a lot to do with the fact that there is no onboard computer required by the glasses. All of that will be handled by the smartphone and not the glasses. Competition Currently, the main competition in the smart glasses space includes many people. Magic Leap 1, Spectacles by Snap, Microsoft's HoloLens 2, Google Glass, and a new pair of Facebook glasses are all strong and tough competition for Apple Glass. Amazon is also apparently looking to enter the fray, working on a product which is called Echo Frames in its beta stage. They will be using the Alexa voice assistant to bring the info to the user. These seem to not rely on any holographic lenses or AR. None of the commercially available glasses have been huge hits so far, though. It is possible that Apple could change all that. Apple has the power to make new product categories where none existed. After all, Apple does have a strategy of letting others muddy the waters and experiment with new technologies before dipping their toes in the water. It rolls out technology that other companies have already pushed out, but they come in with a much more sleek and elegant design. Let's see where Apple goes with the Apple Glass and how soon they release the product. We can't wait to have those bad boys in our hands. That's a wrap for a brief look at how Apple has a new product coming. Will you be buying it when it drops? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for videos like this. See you in the next one.